Welcome to Doubletree M Square Dubai. Dining table, family room, and this is also where the kids will be sleeping. And of course, most importantly, the Burj Khalifa. That's where we're gonna watch the fireworks from today. This is a new hotel. A lot of stuff is still brand new. Voila, king bed. A lot of space, once again, high ceilings, really like it. Another TV and a working desk on the other side. Hi guys, so welcome to Doubletree M Square Dubai. Just got here, I'm gonna give you a room tour. By the way, rocking a new shirt the wife got me for her birthday. But let me show you this amazing room. This place is actually pretty huge. So with that said, let's get started. So as you walk in, this is the main door right here, which is a pretty big door. It's probably the biggest door we've seen. Dining table, family room, and this is also where the kids will be sleeping. So you have an office desk right here, storage, sitting area, slash bed for the kids. Mine are small, so they'll fit. Nice TV, another seating area, and of course, most importantly, the Burj Khalifa. That's where we're gonna watch the fireworks from today. I'm gonna show you the balcony here in a second, but really high ceilings, really, really like it. Makes the place look ridiculously huge. All right, you got a half bath here. This is a new hotel. A lot of stuff is still brand new. Status favorite, washing clothes, washer dryer, combo two in one. Kitchen, the kitchen here, you got a nice fridge. Nice fridge, actual gas stove, and an oven. You got toaster, you got vent, you got a microwave there, nice sink, and a dishwasher. There you go. And this one, once again, you get the views of Burj Khalifa. All right, let me show you the bedroom. As you walk in, you got storage on your left hand side, a lot of cabinet space, nice big mirror. Now the bathroom on this one is freaking huge. So one sink, you know, one mirror, kind of small, but it is what it is. But the shower here definitely, definitely makes up for it. It's a huge shower. There you go. And the toilet, which is really close to the wall, by the way. It's kind of weird. And then, voila, king bed. A lot of space. Once again, high ceilings. Really like it. Another TV and a working desk on the other side. And once again, waking up to Burj Khalifa view. You cannot beat that. Burj Khalifa view and the pool. Now let me show you from outside. Now there's a lot of construction going on outside. Gonna go in from the kitchen. There we go. You got seating area here. There's Burj Khalifa, baby. That's the reason we got this room, so we can see the fireworks from here. All right, let me go get the kids and show you the kids version. Sada was like this. I think we're gonna need, what's that thing called? Binoculars? Yeah. yeah. And like a, a zoom in equipment from NASA to see their fireworks. Now nah, she's like, huh, huh, not bad, huh? Sada's favorite. You ready, Sada's favorite? Yeah. Come here. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> My friend. <laughs> Check out another one. Look. Gas stove. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oven. Hey! Now it's done. Now it's What do you think? Put it big? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you Watch your hand. You watch your hand. Yeah. All right, guys. Cedo's still going around discovering. That's it for the kid version. We got fireworks coming your way. We got about a couple more hours till the fireworks start here. We're gonna go to multiple firework places, so it's gonna be a really, really amazing day. We 
Really nice business center. Really nice seats, comfortable, fancy seats. Look at this one right here. Uh, it's pretty cool. So let's go check out what else we got. Really nice praying area. So the building we're staying at is the middle building right here. We're on the 10th floor. These are monthly rentals, which is pretty cool, I like it. And then the hotel itself is right here, right behind me. So it's three buildings so when it's all said and done. All right guys, so one of the cool things about this hotel that it has two swimming pools, two gyms. I'm on the 19th floor on the apartment side, so I wanna show you the swimming pool because it's got the best views in my opinion. So let's go check it out. So here you go, nice swimming pool. The water is actually warm, they heat up the water, so it's really nice. You can just still jump in the water here during the colder months. So you get a nice view of Dubai. You got a bar here, you can get drinks. And this is by the most beautiful view here in hotel. You get to see Burj Khalifa, you get to see Dubai frame, it's really nice. That's the second swimming pool right here. And there's a cafe right next to it where you can order pizza, lunch, and stuff like that for you and the family. The air is definitely a bit cloudy today. Look at all those air conditioning units just in that building. Like air conditioning here, I think it runs like the whole year. Like it just doesn't stop. Let me show you the view on the other side. They really do a good job keeping this clean. Like these guys are always here cleaning, doing their thing. It's a really, really clean hotel. I see a port over there. I mean, look at all those cranes. Look how much they're building. All right, let's go check out the gym. There's a spa here. This is the gym here. It's a nice size gym, it's actually pretty big. I don't wanna go in and scare people, so I'm gonna do it from here. Let's show you what I got for breakfast. Not much.
breakfast here, in my humble, honest opinion, it's heavy on the Indian cuisine. So I don't know if they get a lot of Indian clients here or what, but that's the case here. Cheese-wise, like white cheese, they only have one white cheese, where like a turkey used to like a bunch of them. So, but for us and for the whole family, it's free, so there's no charge, so we're blessed without complaining, but just an observation. And I'm glad they have a Tech Tarik, Malaysian tea. So we haven't had that in a while, so that's pretty cool they have that here. But it's definitely heavy on the Indian cuisine site. So I hope you like that. If not, your options are very, you know, it's, it's definitely not less for sure. So, and I've noticed they have some healthy stuff, the black seeds and stuff, chai, black chai and stuff, which I've not seen in many hotels. So, all right, let's give it a taste. Where we all right guys, so let's do an overall feedback of the hotel. We've been here for three days. So let's start with the good stuff. Wi-Fi is good, breakfast is good. It's a newer hotel, so a lot of things are very, very clean. It's a very large hotel, you know, and everything else is really like no issue so far. So it's a pretty good hotel. For us, you know, the cons, the bad. I really wish we could see the fireworks in a bit closer, but that's, you know, that's on me at the end of the day. I thought it was gonna look a lot better in person, but it didn't. So if I had to redo it again, when I stayed at this hotel to see the fireworks from Burj Khalifa, I would have not. I would have found a different hotel maybe pay a little more to get a closer view but the rooms around Burj Khalifa were going literally 1500 bucks a night like it was crazy like I've never seen anything like in my life so lesson learned there there is no sauna there's no steam room so which is kind of shocking because where we came from double tree in Sharza which I would say is, you know I think like a three star four star where this is a five star they had it so they don't have that here and then they only have one restaurant at a hotel like this where it's so big they usually have a couple of restaurants but they only have one restaurant that's it so other than that honestly it's it's a very nice hotel. It's kind of in, in a random area because all the stuff around it is a lot of construction going on and a lot of workers live in this area in the apartments. So even though you can see Burj Khalifa, it's about 20 minutes from here to get to the Burj Khalifa. But you know, the area, it's still developing. It's not that developed. Like where the one in Sharza, for example, you can literally walk to the mall. There's a mall next to it, like a large size mall. Restaurants all around it. Over here, that's definitely not the case. So just be prepared for it. Room type, you know, this room versus Double Tree Sharza which one do we like better we definitely prefer the one in Sharza and that's because the kitchen was open concept you know we can do our thing me and my wife can do our thing in the kitchen and still keep an eye on the kids where in this one that's not the case the kitchen is closed area so we have to keep walk back and forth or you know one of us keep an eye on the kids one in the kitchen so that's probably the biggest thing from a room perspective that we did not like the kitchen is you know closed concept here the balcony we love the balcony here it's actually a very large size balcony even the showers are like the bathrooms are very very big the balcony here has been really nice. We get to open the sliding door, we get some fresh air. Uh, so that, the balcony experience has been really nice. But overall, that's the feedback on the hotel. Hope you liked this video. You have two more videos at the end. Please, please click on those. And thanks so much for watching. We appreciate it.